It's not about being perfect. It's about being present. Show up for yourself today and take that first step. Today is Monday, 2nd of September, and today's episode is about the power of showing up, consistency, how half the battle is just showing up on a daily basis, how half the battle is just, you know, clicking that alarm clock and getting out of bed, not hitting the snooze button, not hitting the snooze button two times, three times, four times, getting straight out of bed and showing up. Straight away, minute one, second one of your day is what... It's, it's just what will drive you forward in all walks of life. Now, we're looking at fitness. We're looking how to get in shape, how to stay inspired with your fitness routine in just getting to the gym, whether you're going to a class, whether you're getting up to do cardio, go out for a run, hit weights, go to jujitsu, whatever it might be. <laughs> Step one is, is getting up and going. Sounds so obvious, you think, Connor, I've got to get up and go every single day of my life, no matter what I do, no matter what the commitment is, whether it's fitness, whether it's my kids, whether it's work, it doesn't really matter, and I agree. However, things that we have to do, attending to the kids, going to work so we can live and make money, is a no-brainer. There's a part of you that, you know, might hate getting up for that, <laughs> and the enjoyment factor isn't always there, but you know you have to do it. And this is about switching that mindset when it comes to your fitness and that being exactly the same as your work and your kids and your family. You have to do it. You cannot put your fitness on the back seat, on the back burner of your life. It just doesn't work. And what I mean by it doesn't work is that you get to a point where you're watching me on this for inspiration, trying to figure out how to get there. Now, a lot of my clients will spend weeks building little habits up that are trying to beat the habits that they've had in the past. Now, we've all built bad habits of saying no, of letting ourselves down, of not getting to the gym, of saying we're going to go after work or before work and just not getting up or sitting on the couch and then not going because we get too comfortable. This is about changing them habits, changing your mindset around how you're going to achieve the body you want, the strength levels you want, the performance you want, and not just that, being proud of the person that you are, proud of the body that you're in. This isn't to say that you need to be looking like a bodybuilder to be proud of your body. It's more so showing up for your body. If you're getting out and lifting weights or going for a run or whatever it might be, you can be proud of yourself that day because you know you've ticked that box and you've committed to saying what you want to do, okay? Every time that you put a commitment in the diary or even in your mind and you let yourself down that just that little bit it is just that that tilt downwards on that scale that balance that we always look for in terms of our, our daily happiness and every time time we tilt that daily happiness just slightly down by screwing things up just that little bit now this is to say that things don't get in the way you might get ill um, you might truly over lie it just be a problematic things might get cancelled you might hit traffic you know, things happen. But when things are going well and we just end up with that lazy mindset, that happiness level tilts downwards and for some reason, you start to feel shit about yourself, right? Who'd have thought? And that carry all, carries over into your day-to-day -day life. It carries over into your family life, into your work, uh, with your friends, whatever it might be. And you start feeling just a little bit shittier about yourself. And that is not what we want. We want to always be feeling as best as possible. That's not to say that you can feel unbelievable at all times because that's just you know it's a pipe dream we have to take advantage but we've got to work on that happiness level and the only way to work on that happiness is by committing to what we say we're going to commit to okay every time you let yourself down that happiness level tilts remember so what are you going to do is start showing up for yourself in today's day one it's monday what a perfect day to show up and get started on whatever it might be it might you might be deep into a fitness routine you might be a year in you might be two years in, absolutely smashing it, but you've got to keep showing up. You've got to have that consistency in order to keep getting the result that you want. Or it might be day one. You might have had a conversation with your other half over the weekend saying, I need to get started Monday. 
I'm like, I'm sick of this. I need to get fitter. I need to get leaner. We've got a holiday coming up. I want a beach body. I just want to get fitter for the kids. I feel like I'm struggling to run around with the kids. All these, all these things that you might have had a conversation about. Make this day one. There's no point in waiting. Every time you wait, you're getting that little bit older and that little bit further behind. And one thing that I always say to people is, you know, people think, oh, a couple of years down the line, I'm going to be in this position. Or it's going to be hard right now, but in a couple of years down the line, you're going to be that age anyway. So you might have all have achieved and started something that's really difficult. Because you don't need to nail it from the start. If you nail it for two weeks, well, you've got a two-week head start. And at least you've you've found some form of momentum. Even, that's even if you fall off. You're like, you've proven to yourself that you can get up and do it, even if you fall off. You know how to get back on it. So today's day one. It's Monday the 2nd of September. Get your ass out of bed. Commit to your goals. If you've not got a goal, write them down. Put them in the comments below. Let me know what your goals are. And we'll work for this together as a community, as a team, for each other, help each other as individuals to achieve our goals. Because at the end of the day, life without goals is a life without purpose. And a life without purpose is a life without fulfillment and happiness. And we have to control our own happiness. So get out there and achieve your goals today, Monday, 2nd of September. Let's go.